Bridget, I want to talk about uh, something that's come up, um, a question that I've gotten on Instagram, uh -huh. and that is what it's like to be a left-handed surgeon. And you have a little bit of insight because even though you're dextro-rotatory, you are in close proximity to a left-handed surgeon. Mm -hmm. Do you have any observations? Um, I think people who are right. left-handed are very particular and they're very um, aggressive on how they like their left-handed supplies. Do you, do you see the condescension? <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the biggest complaint that left-handed surgeons have is that uh, we're treated like, like we're treated like we're uh, like the albino lemur at the zoo. Oh, look at the cute lemur. Look at that one. He's special. I don't He's think people treat you like that because you're left-handed. Ezra, yes. you're prepared. Come on up here. Don't be shy. You're, you're preparing the surgical field. You're handing off instruments to left-handed people, and there's a higher percentage of left-handed plastic surgeons than the general population. Oh, yeah. yeah, about double. Did you? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. What's your source? Fact checking that. Do you have the, the Journal of Plastic Reconstructive Surgery, the White Journal. Mm -hmm. It's an article by Do Dr. Rod Rorick. It appeared probably three or four years ago. And Dr. Rorick, who's the editor of the journal, is left handed. Now, don't you feel a little foolish? I'm, I'm fact checking. But so, no one... so, seriously, do you have some observations about dealing with left handed surgeons? I mean, they're the only left handed surgeon I've worked with. <laughs> so I think it's a little, might be a little biased. But it's very common. It, but apparently it's very common. You seem a little bit more particular. I think particular I think, is a great word. I think plastic surgeons are particular. <laughs> but uh, here's, the, here's the thing. Surgery is a totally manual skill. Oh, yeah. It's a hands-on profession. And all of the implements, all of the tools uh, are designed for a right-handed person. Yes. So from the knife blades to your pen to scissors. to scissors to all of the instruments that lock, the way sutures are loaded mm. into the packaging, everything is designed. I'm reading for about it. I'm not seeing your facts, but I am seeing additional disadvantages include greater difficulty learning from right-handed surgeons lack of access to left-handed instruments, and inconveniences there, during assistance. We learn yes. many manual skills by mirroring right. monkey see, monkey do. And it's very difficult to learn by visually observing somebody if you're watching it reverse. So Great. That was... that's, that's one of the reasons left-handed uh, left surgeons are particulars because they figured out everything on their own, basically. That's it. And, That's it. <laughs> and they dealt with a lot of attitude on the part of the dextro-rotatory oppressor class represented by Mrs. Cordray over here. So, so seriously, the right-handed people should understand that everything in the room is designed for right-handed people. And left-handed people have to learn how to adapt to all of these right-handed things, from how the packaging opens, how things are labeled, to how a knife blade is beveled, to how scissors are designed, et cetera, et cetera. So have a little understanding. Mm -hmm. Notice when your surgeon is right-handed versus left-handed and try to accommodate to their particular needs and show a little bit of understanding will go a long way. Um, and try not to be condescending like some people are and not taking it seriously like some people don't because it actually is something that affects I mean, every minute of every day in a surgeon's life. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you're fine. You're surviving just fine. That's where we should end this So, video. So, there you have it. <laughs> Left-handed surgery. Thank you. I can't even...